I've been piecing some of this together, some of it I don't recall, but talking to the people who've been around and my office coordinator. My, I had an aneurysm in class. I felt as if something was gonna happen. And I said, uh, call security. You know, and it was, they thought it was part of a lecture, but it wasn't, it was me. And from that point on, it, I went to immediate care just to stop what was going on. And then I finally made my way to Mary Freebed. I had a shunt put in, which I call, in plain terms, another hole in my head. And that, from that point on, it's like a floodgate opening up. Opening up. My speech, my animation, all of it came back. I have just felt so much love, so much care, so much mentoring from the nurses, to the volunteers. I look forward to my sessions, uh, my physical therapy, I'm skipping down the hall, I'm playing basketball, but those are things that we take for granted. Good, and up, four. There are people here, I've seen babies. I mean, infants in diapers. I've seen people who are in their 70s, people in their 20s. It can hit you from any angle. And you probably know somebody who's been affected by it. And I really think that this place can really help you appreciate what you have. I've had students in my classes with challenges, and I have several friends. My father's blind, so I've kind of grown up with some of this, and I thought my awareness was out there. I knew a lot, but I hadn't experienced it on my own level. So it's kind of, it's humbling. It makes you appreciate things more, but I can't say enough about Mary Freebed. That's why I'm gonna volunteer. Um, to me, that's the, the, the strongest form of flattery, that I want to be here, and I want to make them proud. So when I walk out, and as you can see, I've got my alumni shirt, I want everybody to know I was here. Um, it's, yes, I have a challenge. Um, it's something I want to work on. I don't know how long it's going to take, um, but I'm in it in the long haul. I want my life back, and Mary Freebed's giving it to me.